If you've been on a cruise before, then you know it's a strange and taboo world unlike any other. You're stuck on a giant piece of metal traveling to some of the most beautiful places in existence. The employees are unnaturally kind and it's as if they never sleep, creating the illusion that the world you're living in for a week or two is perfect. But the truth is there's a lot more than meets the eye. While you're there for a short time, the crew are there for a long time, six to nine months to be exact, sometimes even longer. And when your vacation is over and you go home, the ship picks up a brand new batch of passengers and the process starts all over again. But at times, the passengers tend to forget that the crew are people too, and just like normal people, they do things. Secret things. That's why in today's video, I'm going to tell you three things that cruise ship employees do that they don't want you to know. A little disclaimer by the way, this is coming from a general perspective. Everything that I'm going to say in today's video does not apply to every single crew member. Sailing right into it, the first secret is that the crew talk about you. We see you on your cruise with your husband or wife to only see you later sneaking around to another person's cabin on the side that you met on embarkation day. We call that a ship bay. We also see you waterfall in the ice cream machine. This was of course pre-COVID. And yes, we see you complain to the manager. As a crew member, what is without a doubt one of the greatest pastimes while working on board cruise ships is people watching the guests because you give us so much entertainment. One time when I was working for NCL, there was a man at the Starbucks on board located at the atrium, deck six by the way. He was pretty angry because I guess they messed up his caramel macchiato. So angry in fact that he started yelling at everybody and throwing things. He even took it a step further by grabbing the mic at the carry stand and started telling everybody how horrible Starbucks is both on land and at sea. You cannot make this stuff up. For both good and bad reasons, the passengers can be the talk of the town, especially off the clock in places like the crew bar. For example, one time there was a man that apparently was on a two week cruise and was giving out $100 tips to the crew members. Now as soon as this rumor leaked out, you had everybody on the hunt for this man. For the crew members that had been in contact with him and did receive the tips, they did tell everybody where the man was staying at as far as his cabin and even what he looked like. So of course the search was on because everybody wanted to cash in. Now I'm not going to lie to you, I even looked for him in my down time and I was able to find him, hoping to maybe get a tip for my breakdancing skills in the show that I was doing. And I did find him, but uh, unfortunately he didn't like the show at all and uh, yeah I got nothing. Another secret is that the crew hook up with the guest. Now this is without a doubt the biggest and most forbidden rule within the cruise ship industry. If the crew get caught breaking this rule, you will be terminated, no questions asked, and sent home. Working as crew, you're allowed to have relationships and even hook up with your co-workers. Why? Because unlike most jobs, you are actually living where you're working. So for some people, at some point, it's probably going to happen eventually. Now technically, there is typically a lot of candy to choose from. However, oftentimes people only want a few pieces of candy and it never really works out. This is like one Snickers bar piled up with a bunch of Tootsie Rolls. You get the idea. People end up trying to share and uh... Anyway, because of this reason, there are some people, some crew on board the ship that only want the guests. They want to break the rules because they believe it's meant to be broken and they want to try the forbidden fruit. There was a coworker of mine once that I told a story about on this channel a while back. He was a personal trainer and he would only hook up with the guests and he was good at it too, at least until he got caught. Essentially on the cruise ship, you can't do anything with the guests whatsoever without proper documentation or unless you're clear to do so. For example, if you are to walk into any of the guest room without the proper documentation, you are fired. They don't care if you're hooking up or anything like that. You can't even go into their room and this is for legal purposes. Things were different, let's say 20 or 30 years ago, because now everybody wants to sue for whatever little thing happens, which is, I guess, you know, understandable. If something does happen, you should be, uh, you know, compensated for it. But either way, for this reason, the cruise lines want to avoid this altogether, and this is why the rule is what it is. Now, you're probably wondering, how is this man getting away with this stuff? Well, there are two options to do it. Typically, if a crew member wanted to hook up with one of the guests, they'll wait until we go to one of the islands and ports of call. Let's say, for example, if we're in Bermuda, you would meet that person, that guest, as crew on Horseshoe Beach away from the ship, and you wouldn't have any problems. Also, if you had a little bit of rank or pool or some connections on board the ship, if you knew somebody in surveillance or in security, you could have them just kind of, you know, turn a blind eye to everything that's going on. That way you can walk into one of the rooms. Unfortunately for my friend, he ended up walking into one of the rooms and there was a wrong guard on duty and he got caught up and got fired. Another way that the guest and crew hook up is of course through the spa. Now I've talked about this plenty of times on my channel before, you guys can just look through the videos if you want to see it, but yes this does actually happen. The whole idea and cliche idea of happy endings 
is a very, very real thing and it does happen on board cruise ships for those spa members that are actually down for it. Now, I'm not saying this happens at every single spa on board every single cruise ship, but it does happen. And for those of you that are going to disagree, just really sit down and think about it. We know that this stuff happens on land, yes? What do you think is happening in the middle of the ocean with less laws and a bunch of people from developing countries that want to make as much money as they can on their contract? Case closed. The third secret is that the crew party a lot harder than you think. Okay, so to be fair, this one's almost a given. You're talking about a college type environment, a bunch of foreigners all over the place, and of course the motion of the ocean. We get the idea, but I'm telling you, things can get a little wild sometimes. While there are rules and restrictions on board, like the maximum alcohol limit being only .05, which is the equivalent of two beers, a lot of crew members don't follow them. This is on top of the other extracurricular activities some crew, but not all, indulge in on board. I know what you're thinking, naturally with the drug sniffing dogs and the extra security that's at these cruise ports, there is no way anybody could sneak anything that isn't supposed to be on a cruise ship on board. Well, what is the saying? If there's a will, there's a way and people do find a way. I've seen a lot of things on board cruise ships and just like in hotels, people find ways to smoke. Like for example, they'll just smoke in the shower and let the steam mix in with the smoke. I'm sure some of you out there have seen that done before. In a nutshell, just like the guests, the crew also like to have memorable and risky experiences, so the next time you see a crew member that looks like they may be pushing through the worst hangover in their life, please be sure to tip them extra because we've all been there. Now there are of course a million things that I could have mentioned in today's video, but since I'm new at making content like this, we'll start off with three. Let me know what you think about all this, were you surprised? Also if you want to see a part two, let me know in the comment section below. Please be sure to like the video if you guys enjoyed it. Of course, share and subscribe if you haven't already. That way you can stay updated on everything going on within the cruise ship industry and of course get extra content. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, please consider joining the Ship Life crew. There you'll get a whole bunch of perks and bonuses that regular viewers do not have access to. You'll get priority in the comments section. You'll get exclusive content, discounts on store merch, and so much more. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope all of you are doing well. Take it easy.